Okay, so these have been popping up uh, around St. Louis. These uh, structures here. And um, my suspicion is 5G. Verizon Wireless. All right. That's what they look like. It's got a, uh, a meter. It's not digital for some reason. Isn't that weird? All right. Give you a good look at what they are. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, this uh, news uh, report. Uh, so... These are uh, 5G towers. They're popping up uh, all over St. Louis, and um, they're actually called uh, called nodes. And um, here's Verizon. Uh, they've been you know, steadily popping up all over St. Louis. Uh, I actually asked one of the. Uh, I saw a Verizon wireless driver sitting in his van, and I actually um, asked him what they were. Because there was one actually right in front of us. And I just said, hey, what are those towers? And his response was that he's not at liberty to say. So that's interesting. Um, but uh, another thing interesting to note is that I never see them really constructing them or installing them. I, I imagine you could probably put them up fairly quick. And I think I, my theory is they're doing it at nighttime um, to avoid any type of um, controversy. Uh, so 5G, how does it work? Well, let's take a look at some of these uh, pictures here. It basically works um, in concert with the, uh, the, the 4G towers. They're kind of like nodes, if you will. Um, they work in concert. What's their frequency range? Well, here's here's Verizon, which has been the most aggressive in installing uh, the 5G. So um, they'll tell you here, but they make it real convoluted. Notice that there's not like anytime you've been searching internet, you can't get a whole lot of information from it. Um, like you know, basic stuff like what is the actual uh, frequency range. Um, so with all this convoluted stuff here, they don't actually cite it until you get down to here and it's 38 between 28 gigahertz and 39 gigahertz um, it, it, it can actually go up to about 60 gigahertz so where exactly is that on the spectrum well if we take a look at this um, here's microwave uh, now that's about a thousand um, it's either a hundred or a thousand gigahertz I'm not really sure before you jump up a, another unit so it's probably either it's somewhere in the microwave range I know that uh, more specifically here's a good graph I, I hope you can see that let me see if I could uh, increase it a little bit okay so um, radar between one and, and 100 gigahertz so this is punching at, like I said, it, it's it's punching at between uh, 28 gigahertz and 39 gigahertz. So it's not it's not always the frequency that can get you. There's other factors. Um, if, for example, a microwave oven is at 2.4 uh, gigahertz, but we know that microwave can cook meat. Uh, TV broadcast is really low. That's 54 to 700 megahertz, and that's video signal too. So think about that. Um, if Radio can broadcast a clear picture, right? A digital clear picture at a very low frequency, right? That makes you wonder, right? Uh, FM radio, mobile cell phones, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, wireless data is up to 5 gigahertz. Um, so we get into the terahertz, infrared, ultraviolet. So we're in this range here. Right about there. Um, yep. 
So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you're not going to find this on mainstream media. So, do me a favor, uh, like, subscribe, and share. Just want to keep you updated that uh, 5G towers are popping up all over St. Louis. All right. Thank you for your time. Y'all have a good day. EM News reporting. Uh, doing a story out here on the streets. See if I could uh, show you what I'm uh, reporting to you. Um, so these structures have been appearing on... Um, let's see if I can switch the camera. Okay, it's not. So we're going to come back and switch the camera and uh, show you what um, I'm looking at. EM News reporting uh, out here on the ground. Uh, so we got these uh, 5G towers popping up quick. Uh, they're just starting to spring up um, all through town. Um, interesting thing that uh, you don't really see them uh, installing them. So they can put them up fairly quick. Uh, I know because I know the streets really well. Um, another thing to keep in mind, uh, the difference between alternative media and mainstream media is that they're not on the ground uh, and doing actual real reporting like we're doing right here with actual real footage. They're probably using like uh, green screens and CGI and stuff like that. There's another one. There we got some more of these mysterious structures that have been popping up. There's one right there. There is a, another one. I apologize about the sun. A little too hard to see. There's another one. Mysterious structures popping up all for St. Louis. We believe they are 5G towers. EM News doing a story out here on these towers.